What's up, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Jesse Man. Welcome back to Anno Domini Mod. Mounted Blade Warband Anno Domini Mod. This is going to be Season 2. Last season I played as England, which I still have right there in case we ever want to continue it. But, we are going to start a new game. Oh, <laughs> We're starting a new game. I don't know who I'm going to be in this game. Hmm. It's taking its time launching, I can see that. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. With native warband recruitment system, yeah. My character this time... Let's do male again, just with the simple pass. Females cannot own fiefs. Males can. I like fiefs. Not so, I'm saying the game says they can't, okay? Just, just get right there. You are born years ago in a land far away. Your father was... A thief. I'm going to start like low down on this one. As the son of a thief, you had very f little formal education. Instead, you were out on the street begging until you learned how to cut purses. Cutting purses until you learned how to pick locks. All the way through your childhood, still, these long years you made of you streakwise and sharp to the secrets of the cities and shadowy back ways. You started to learn the world almost as soon as you could walk and talk. You spent your early life as a street urchin. A boy growing out of childhood, you took to the streets doing whatever you must to survive, begging, thieving, working for gangs, you learned to earn your bread. You lived from day to day in this violent world, always one step ahead of the law and those who wish you ill. Then as a young adult, life changed as it always does, and you became a smith. Though the distinction fell sudden of you, somewhere along the way you became a man, and the whole world seemed to change around you. You pursued a career as a smith, crafting items of function and beauty out of simple metal. As time wore on, you became a master of your trade, and fine work started to fetch fine prices. With food in your belly and logs on your fire, you could take pride in your work and grow in reputation. But soon everything changed and you decided to strike out on your own as an adventurer. What made you take this decision? I do not know what Wonderlust means, but I'm going to go for being full start of your home. Who would you serve? Hmm. You know what? I really want to do the Roman Empire. Let's do the Roman Empire. Only you know exactly what caused you to give up your old life and become an adventurer. However, you cannot go back. There's nothing to go back to. Whoever, whatever home you may have had is gone now. And you must face the fact that you're out in the wide, wide world alone. Sink or swim. You could become an adventurer and ride to your destiny. Realistic, no quitting without saving. Okay. Um. Let's see, so what are my stats right now? Okay, so I'm thinking we're going to Roman build. So, sword, shield. Bow and arrow, basically, so. Let's pump this into end strength. Let's boost my writing. Boost my power draw. Prisoner management and leadership. And horse archery. 
one hand weapons. Oh, I should have archery. And my name should be. Hmm. I don't know what it was in the last one. Sir Jazzy. Rogue Blood. Yay! Sir Jazzy Rogue Blood. Next. Okay. Hmm. I'm going to be a middle-aged hair color I wish to be. First off, let's select my hair. Should we go bald? Let's go bald with a beard. Okay. This beard. Yes, dark in color. Okay, done. You hear about Europe, a land torn between rival kingdoms battling each other for supremacy. A haven for knights and mercenaries, cutthroats and adventurers, all willing to risk their lives in pursuit of fortune, power and glory. In this land which holds great dangers and even great opportunities, you believe you may leave your past behind and start a new life. You feel that finally you hold the keys of your destiny in your hands, free to choose as you will, and that whatever course you take, may great adventures await you. Drawn by the stories you hear about Europe and its kingdoms, you join a merchant caravan and travel to your destiny. You came by a caravan through the heartland of Europe. Green shoots of wheat, barley, and oats are beginning to push through the dark soil of the rolling hills. And on the lower slopes of the snow-capped mountains, herds of cattle, sheep, and sheep are grazing in the spring grass. Occasionally, too, you catch sight of one of the great war horses, They're the pride of the European nobility. The land here is rich and also troubled. The occasional burnt-out farm bears witness. You keep a wide berth of the forest where desperate men have taken refuge, and it is some relief that you crest the ridge and catch sight of the great city of Nuremberg. Its rooftops made, gold, made golden by the last rays of the setting sun. You are exhausted by the time you find the inn in Nuremberg. You get drunk and fall asleep under the table, however you awaken before dawn, and you are eager to explore your surroundings. You venture out onto the streets are still deserted, you continue out of the town and begin your adventure. Okay, so let's check out my inventory. Okay. Bread and butter. Okay. Well, it seems there's no sound. Uh, I'll restart the game after this episode. Travel to Edia. Wait, so I'm in the Roman Empire, but I didn't spawn in Rome? Interesting. Oh, that's because this is not the Roman, this is the Byzantine, after Rome got cut in half. Meet with the Elder. A few heads of cattle to start. How many? Seven. I'll bring you the cattle you need. Seven heads of cattle. I hope that's not too expensive. I didn't think about that. But 
I've got an army of 15. No enemies in sight, apparently. Oh shoot. Yeah. Drive the cats along with. Come on, we're going this way. That's a good thing it follows you in this one. That is amazing. Yeah, no sound. Meet you with the elder. Ah, I can't do that one. Nine more footmen. Dang, I'm building an army, boys. An army of weaklings, though, but an army nonetheless. What are you? Bohemia. Hmm. Frankfurt. Okay. I would like to purchase a bow if I could. Which one looks more commoner footman, lovey footman? Move up. Yeah. Sell this first off. Now I just need arrows. Yeah, I'd much rather have this. I'm not surprised we haven't run into any bandits. I'll meet with the other. <laughs> I'm not going to recruit any more volunteers for now. No, I'm not doing the grain quest. I hate doing the grain quest. It pisses me off. The cattle used to piss me off, but seeing as I could just bring it now, it's not a big deal. No, where are these bandits? There's not even any knights out. What's going on? Notes. Factions. Looking for the Holy Roman Empire. Yeah. No? That's probably why we're not at war with anybody. Roman Catholicism, yeah. Cattle from Sicilia. The Kutigarians and the Lithuanians. No big deal. Me with the Elder. Okay, no problem. Bitch. <laughs> Ulrich von Lichtstein. Let's go to Frankfurt. 
think this is the capital, right? What is our capital? Nenbeg. Yeah. Okay, I haven't seen any of our knights. I haven't seen any bandits. I think the game's a little glitched right now. Yeah, because there's nobody in here. Forget it. This worries me. I'm gonna go down the baden. If there's nothing down here, I think I'm gonna restart the game. And join you guys in the next episode. But if there is somebody down here, we'll continue until the normal time. You guys will probably be able to see. Well, what the here we go? There you are, sir. Just say this. Abatai Hodzog but such it. The vassal of the Holy Roper, the Lord of Butchard, Lansotar Ega. You're blocked by a tree, it's... Granted, Ham's... Hamburg... Well, I didn't know I had a thief. God dang it. Hamsburg is my thief. <coughs> Where's it at? That's gonna be on the border. There's no way they'd give me an inner one. Yeah, up here. Right next to the what? Right next to the... The Polish... What are these guys? The Denmarkians? There, I'm here now. Yeah. This is mine, apparently. Group volunteers. No. <laughs> Manage the village. Watchtower? Wow, I don't even have that money. Okay. Leave with the elder. What could I do for you? How much grain do you need? I'll go and find you some bloody grain. God dang it. <laughs> do I even have? Ah, uh, it's gonna be close. Let's see if this guy has it. You're kinda in our territory, bud. You better have grain. You do. Let's buy some other food while we're at it, just for my men. Right now, let's go to Magenberg. Magdeburg. Still no bandits, which is that a good thing? Like, did Rome get rid of his bandits? It's like, the what am I supposed to level up with? <laughs> what the fuck was that? What the fuck was that? Please have grain. Oh, you're my savior. Oh, yeah, take that for him. Turn. Head back. <laughs> oh, I can't just leave my person and escape. I thought I could. <laughs> Head back to Hamburg. Why did I get Hamburg? Sounds like hamburger. Like, literally, it's just hamburger without the ER. You calling me fat game? I know I'm fat game. Stop being so mean game. What? Yeah.
Yeah, how'd you like my screenshot game? Yeah. What? <laughs> um. Me with the elder. Advanced level two. No war parties. Hmm. Hot now. I think I'll level mine's up. Ten. Sweet. I'm already at ten with these guys. That's nice. Uh, party. Yeah, we do not have a lot of cash. But I can level, so. I'm going to go. Charisma. No. Crud. I trade then. Then archery. I'm going to end this episode here, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for joining me for season two of Mountain Blade Warbond. <sighs> <laughs> I'm going to restart the game and hopefully get audio back. Bye.